Sio ndugu yata kuambia rudi baadaye. Akisema ni sahizi, ni sahizi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hiyo inua tu mikono yako ukamwambia Mungu leo ninakusikiza. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Jina na baba oshika Yeah Mungu binguni asikia maombi yetu Yuko Mungu binguni I achieve my own beings.
Nasema ni asande Siku ya leo Asande kwa ajili ya Wokovu wako Kwa ajili ya rehema Na fadhili zako jia maisha yetu Asande kwa ajili ya uponyaji wako jia maisha yetu Asande kwa uwepo wako katika hili kanisa Siku ya leo Na hata hii baada Tunapo endelea kutumainia Na kungoja kutoka kwako Naomba kuamba buwana Ukanene na sisi Nina mkabidi mnenaji wa neno Kwa mikono yako buwana ni kiomba ya kuamba Wacha nguvu zako zika kushuke ju yake Roo wako akanene kupita ndani yake Kufikia watu wako Nina ombea kila mmoja wetu ambaya kwa mali hapa Wale ambao na tutozama kule nyumbani Kwa mba buwana wacha nguvu zako zika guze kila mmoja wao Wale wanaitaji uponyaji wapone Wale wanaitaji kazi zika funguliwe Wale wanaitaji fedha zika patikane Wale wanaitaji maitaji tofauti buwana ukawafikie Na kuwawezesha kwa jina la yesu Nina kushukuru na nina kuwabudu Nina ombea kila wageni ya mbao kukatikati yetu Wacha roo wako akawaguze Na ombea mtume Anapoendelea kudumu mahali ya lipo na ema yako ikatosha Na kushukuru na nina kuwabudu Kwa jina la yesu kristo Tunaomba na kuwamini Amen 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 Ninu wa mikone hako upingi ya yesu magoku Hallelujah Hallelujah Amen Amen Asandeni sana Waimbaji mneza keti kidogo na musitoke Mneza toka baada ya mubiri kusema mneza toka Kwa hivyo musiende mbali Mubiri aneza waitaji Amen Karibuni sana wale ambao mumekuja ibaada ya pili Asante sana my brother tulikukosa jumapili Hata mtuma kaniuliza uko hapi ni kasema apana Ni naona, ni meona tu jami Lakini sija kuona Kwa hivyo karibu sana Na pia wapendu wa wale ambao metoka kule jam city Wale wapendu wa metoka kule danana Wale wapendu wa metoka the river Karibuni sana Nataka tutengeneze hii ibada ikue ibada maalumu na speciali. Unaendelea kukua, utakua pa moja na mimi. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu, tukua wachaji. Lakini, tutakua ni wale watakuanga wengi. Baada ya muda tukitogo. Hii, ibada ya pini, ndio utakua watu wanakimbilia. Hii, Pastor Beatrice, hii ndio utakua unaangalia, unasema, ah, hii ndio nakuja hii. Hii. Hii ya watu wachache saa hii, ndio itakua ya watu wengi. Kwa hivyo wakati huu ningependa ujiandaye, mutumishi wa mungu wa kopamoja na sisi, Pastor Beatrice, atatuletea neno, na ninajua unaenda kubarigiwa. Pastor Beatrice, tumeudumu na ye kwa mashule na mahali tofauti, na ninajua kuamba kuna neno la mungu ndani yake, na linaenda kubadidisha maisha yako. Kwa hivyo, musimame kwa miguyenu, kwa eshima ya mungu na mutumishi wa mungu, Tukimuleta mutumishi wa mungu, Pastor Beatrice, akuje anene neno la mungu. Pigia Yesu makopi. Amen. Hallelujah. Karibu sana. Amen. Amen. Muneza keti. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusalimiane hewani. Amina. Amen. Amen. Naona nyinyi nyote mkopande hii. <laughs> Sasa itabidi niwe ni naangalia u. <laughs> I'm used to kuangalia u. Amen. Amina. I'm called Pastor Beatrice. Na ito wa mchungaji Beatrice. For those who don't know my name. Kwa wale ambao hayo juji na langu. And I'm married. Mimeolewa. 
to an elder in this church. Na mzee wa kanisa katika kanisa hili. I'm also blessed with three children. Na nimebarikiwa na watoto watatu. And I thank God. Na namshukuru Mungu. I have seen his faithfulness. Nimeona uaminifu wake and his goodness. Na wema wake. Amen. Amina. Today I just want us to reflect. Leo nataka tutazame. Just think about the goodness of God. Tufikirie wema wa Mungu. Yesterday I went to visit uh, we were visiting our uncle somewhere. Uh, jana tulikuwa tunamtembelea mjomba wetu mahali and he's his elderly he's 85 na amezeeka ako na miaka 85 but very sharp his memory is very good lakini akili zake ni timamu and he was talking to us na alikuwa anatuzungumzia about the faithfulness of god kuhusu uaminifu wa mungu that he has seen god kwamba amemuona mungu in his long life katika maisha yake marefu and he was saying how his parents died alikuwa anazungumza vile wazazi wake walikufa that is how they were left orphans him and my mom vile waliachwa mayatima yeye na mama yangu na shangazi yangu he was only 10 years old alikuwa miaka kumi tu my mom was seven mama yangu alikuwa miaka saba the other one was four years mwingine alikuwa miaka nini Mine. and they had no one to take care of them na wako na mtu wa kuwashughulikia and so him he would go out look for firewood ne angetoka kutafuta kuni and my mom would be the one to go to the farm to look for uh, sweet potatoes na mama yangu alikuwa ndio wa kwenda kutafuta viazi vitamu kule shambani so that they could bring and boil and eat ili alete wachemshe wale and i was one, seven year old na nilikuwa nashangaa miaka 7 years miaka kumi. and they talked of how they suffered na wakazungumzia vile waliteseka but this this young man lakini kijana huyo when he was about 18 years after really suffering in the village alipokuwa karibia miaka 18 baada ya kuteseka sana he went to the town around akaenda kwa mji hapo karibu and he saw some missionaries na akaona wa missionary and he went he approached them na akaenda akawa akazungumza nao he said that he wants to join them na akasema anataka kujiunga na wao he had looked he had seen their life alikuwa ameona maisha yao there are those that they had done from the US and they were doing evangelism kuna wale walikuwa wametoka kule US na walikuwa wanafanya uinjilist door to door uh, kutoka nyumba moja hadi nyingine reaching to people wakiwahubiria watu so he said I would like to join you. Akasema ningependa kujiunga nanyi. Of course he had nothing to lose. Hakuwa na chochote cha kupoteza. So these people told him. Ah watu wakamwambia, eh, sisi tunataka wale wameokoka. We Amen. like we would like to work with those who are saved. Uh, wakamwambia tungependa kufanya kazi na wale ambao wameokoka. Not like you. Si kama wewe. Alisema nimeokoka. <laughs> Mina So he said he saved. Akasema ameokoka. So maybe that is how he got saved. Na hivyo ndio alipata kuokoka pengine. And he started joining with these people. Na akaanza kujiunga na hawa watu. Preaching, preaching here and there. Akihubiri hapa na pale. And learning from them. Na akijifundisha kutoka kwao. Then they saw he's a very dedicated man. Na wakaona ni kijana ambaye amejitolea sana. And that's how they took him in. Na ndivyo walivyomchukua. Took him to school. Wakampeleka shuleni. To a biological college awakampeleka shule ya kusoma biblia to st paul's theological college at that time aha shule ya st paul he did diplomas akafanya diploma from there they took him to the us to do degree wakampeleka kule marekani kufanya degree and i'm telling you by the time my uncle was retiring na wakati alipofika kustaafu he used to lecture KU University. Ni, uh, ni lecture wa KU. Theology, CRE, those kind of courses. Amina, alikuwa anafundisha mafundisho ya Biblia. And he has churches also. Na kuna makanisa pia. Right now he was saying there are like 600 churches. Kama sasa alikuwa anasema ni karibia 600. With over 500 pastors. Na wachungaji karibia 500. He was telling us 
God is faithful. Alikuwa anatuambia kwamba Mungu ni mwaminifu. From an orphan boy to what he is today. Kutoka mtoto yatima kufikia mahali alipofikia leo. He also had a high school called St. Philip's. Alikuwa na shule ya upili na ito St. Philip's. Paka wa leo iko. And that is where I went to school myself. Na hapo ndio mchungaji alisomea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't God faithful? Yes, Bwana ni mwaminifu. You know he talked and we cried. Alizungumza na tukalia. We saw how God took an orphan boy. Tukaona vile Mungu alimuinua mtoto yatima and made him something. Na kumfanya kitu. Just because he confessed Christ. He said Yes. Kwa sababu alikiri kwa Kristo akasema ndiyo. Alikubali. He accepted God in his Alikubali life. Alikubali Mungu katika maisha yake. And God took him in as his father. Na Mungu akamchukua kama baba yake. And God there was no limitation with God. God took him places. Na kukuwa na kizuizi na Mungu Mungu alimpeleka sehemu mbalimbali. He around the world. Amezunguka ulimwengu mzima. The, the kind of life you dream for he has lived it. Na maisha ambayo sisi tunaotea ameaishi. I am telling you of a man who is a rich man. Na wazungumzia mtu ambaye ni tajiri. Okay. You cannot even think he had such a past. Hauwezi kufikiria alikuwa na mwanzo uliokoa kama vile. He's my role model. I always looked up. I knew a rich person is my uncle. Ah nilijua kwamba mtu tajiri ni mjomba wangu. Amen. Amen. Even the rest of us went to study in India. He's the one who facilitated that. Na wale tulienda kusomea kule India yeye ndiye alitusaidia. And we were many of us, many of us. Na tulikuwa wengi. Amen. Amen. But his testimony. Lakini ushuhuda wake. God is a good God. Kwamba Mungu ni Mungu mwema. It does not matter where you are. Haijalishi mahali ulipo. He can lift you up. Anaweza kukuinua. He can lift you up. Anaweza You kukuinua. don't have to give up. Usikate tamaa. God is still faithful. Mungu bado ni mwaminifu. Even D- David said. Hata Daudi akasema, I was young and now I am old. Nilikuwa kijana na sasa ni mzee. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Na sijaona mwenye haki wa Mungu ameachwa. Amen. Amina. God will not forsake us even today. Bwana hata tuacha hata siku ya leo. I'm still trusting him for great things. Ninamwaminia bado kwa mambo makubwa. It may seem that like it has delayed, but it Inaweza is coming. Inaweza kukaa ni pass. kama imechelewa lakini inakuja. The vision is for a season, it's for an appointed time, Maono but wait for it. Muda uliotengwa. It shall come to pass. Tegea itakuja kupita kutimia. To Habakkuk, isn't it? Kulingana na Habakkuk. Whatever is your vision. Chochote ambacho ni maoni yako. Today we have learned about Joseph. Tumezungumzia kuhusu Yusufu. Joseph is my encouragement in the Bible. Yusufu unitia moyo katika Biblia. Because of that vision he had. Kwa sababu ya maono aliyokuwa nayo. Because of that dreams. Kwa sababu ya ile ndoto alikuwa nayo. He knew that in this dream that I'm dreaming. Alijua katika ndoto hii ambayo ninaota. Seeing my siblings bowing to me. Nikiona ndugu zangu wakininamia. Seeing my father my mother bowing to me. Nikimwona mama yangu baba yangu wakininamia. And the 11 stars the, na, the sons. Na nyota 11 akawa. I know wana. there is greatness in my life. Najua kuna ukuu ndani ya maisha yangu. I know there is destiny in my life. Najua kuna hatima ndani ya maisha yangu. And that kept him in line na hiyo ilimweka kwa njia sawa even when he was put in that hole na hata alipowekwa kwa ile shimo he did not lose heart hakuvunjika moyo he was not hopeless hakuwa mwenye hana tumaini that problem is temporal alijua tu shida hiyo ni kwa muda and he was lifted out of the pit na akainuliwa kutoka pale sold to slavery akauzwa kuwa mtumwa and when he was in that place in Egypt na alipokuwa kule Misri he worked very hard in Potiphar's house akajitahidi katika nyumba ya Potiphar the bible says what and he prospered in that na home na kasema alinawiri kwa kipindi kile and he knew he was still in god's purpose na alijua kwamba ako katika makusudi ya Mungu he was still in god's will alikuwa kwenye he was still in god's will alikuwa kwa mpango wa Mungu then temptation came majaribu yakaja and now there it, he was in trouble na pale alikuwa kwenye tabu because of that seduction na kwa, kwa sababu ya ile Potiphar's wife iliyompata na mke wa Potiphar you know a young man 
Unajua kijana. And every day a beautiful woman is pestering you. Na kila kila siku mwanamke mm. mrembo anakusumbua. Nobody is going to know. Hakuna mtu atajua. That we have an affair. Kwamba sisi mimi na wewe tuko na eh. Uh-huh. Eh, of course. Usi. Waki mapenzi. Amina. <laughs> but he said what? Lakini akasema I cannot touch you. I cannot do this evil. Siwezi kufanya maovu haya against my God. Dhidi ya Mungu wangu. He knew alijua about his God. Kuhusu Mungu wake. The God who gave me visions. Mungu aliyenipa ndoto. The God who gave me those dreams. Mungu aliyenipa ndoto. I cannot go against him and sabotage my own destiny. Siwezi kwenda kinyume naye na kuharibu hatima yangu. Yes. So he focused. Alikuwa na mtazamo. And suffered. Na akateseka. Then he found himself in prison because he was accused falsely. Akajipata jela kwa sababu ya alihukumiwa visivyo. And then even in prison the hand of God was upon him Na he found favor in jail. mkono wa Bwana ulikuwa juu yake. And God continued to be with him. Na Mungu akazidi kuwa naye. And we know how he interpreted dreams in that jail. Na tunajua vile alivyotafsiri ndoto katika jela hiyo. And how he was lifted from jail and became the prime minister of Egypt. Na alipoinuliwa kutoka jela na kuwa waziri mkuu wa Misri. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And his dream came to pass. Na ndoto yake ikaja kutimia. He became the leader akawa kiongozi that God had shown him many years ago. Ambaye Mungu alikuwa amemuonyesha miaka mingi iliyopita. And finally kwemepita. the brothers came and bowed themselves na not knowing this is Joseph. Wakaja wakamuinamia bila kujua ni yeye. But that is not That is not his joy that the brothers bowed to. Na hiyo si furaha yake kwamba ndugu zake Kusudi la Mungu was for him to save his own nation. Ilikuwa ni kuokoa taifa lake. To save his own people. Kuokoa watu wake. Because God always has a greater purpose. Kwa sababu Mungu huwa na kusudi kuu. When God has a purpose for your life, it's not Wakati just for you and your family. Mungu kusudi na maisha yako si kwako wewe na familia yako. It is beyond. Ni zaidi. It is to bless others. Nikubariki wengine. This is to bless nations. Nikubariki mataifa. Through Joseph his own nation, his Upitia own people. Yusuf, taifa lake watu wake. They were saved from famine. Walipata kuokolewa na njaa kuu. And they were provided for. Na walipata mahitaji yao. And they were able to go to Egypt and dwell in the best place. Na walienda kule Misri na kukaishi maeneo mazuri. And fulfill the purpose of God. Na kutimiza kusudi la Mungu. Anytime Don't think wate, it's all about you. Usifikiri ni kuhusu wewe tu. It's not always about you. Si kila siku itakuhusu wewe. God is seeing bigger. Mungu anaona zaidi. God is seeing vision. Mungu anaona. He's seeing anaona, missions, he's seeing, he's seeing great. Mungu things. anaona makuu, mambo makuu. Even when I'm praying. Hata wakati ninapoomba. My prayer is not always me me my Ombi family langu, just si, mi, 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 hmm? mi, familia yangu you know there are people who only, only pray myself kuna watu my husband mimi, my three yangu, children watoto wangu watatu and that's it na ni hivyo tu maybe that's why your prayers are not being answered quickly pengine ndio maana maombi yako hayajibiwi kwa haraka it can never be just you haiwezi kuwa kila siku ni wewe the purpose of god is greater Kusudi la Mungu ni kuu. God wants us to touch nations. Mungu anataka tuguze mataifa. God wants us to be responsible for this nation. Mungu anataka tujukumike kwa taifa hili. Amen. Amina. So from today, kuanzia leo, start praying now for your neighbors. Anza kuombea jirani start majirani. Start praying for your neighbors children. An, anza kuombea watoto wa jirani. Start praying for that community. Anza kuombea jamii. Start saying now I am here. Anza kusema sasa I am the hapa. officer of God commanding this station. Mimi ni afisa wa Mungu ninayeamuru maeneo haya. Amen. Amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not always about us. Siku ku, siku tuhusu sisi kila mara. There is a bigger purpose. Ni kuna kusudi kuu zaidi. If I don't pray for my nation. Iwapo sitaombea taifa langu. I always feel like mm-mm. Nina I have hisi, not prayed. Ninahisi kwamba sijaomba. Because I know. Kwa sababu ninajua. God wants this nation saved. Mungu anataka taifa hili liokoke. God wants revival in Kenya. Mungu anataka uvuvio katika so nchi ya Kenya. So if I don't pray. 
Kwa hiyo nisipoomba how will it come to pass? Je, itatimiaje? How will the purposes of God come to pass? Je, makusudi ya Mungu yatatimiaje? How will God be glorified? Je, Mungu atatukuzwa namna gani? How will God intervene? Je, Mungu ataingilia kati namna gani? Take away the wickedness. Kuondoa uovu. Like now I was just marv- I was marveled, I was shocked that uh, someone can be speaking on national TV and everywhere. Nilishangaa kwamba mtu anaweza kuzungumza kwenye TV ya kitaifa. How we are going to plant bangi? Vile tutapanda bangi. That is somebody's manifesto. Hiyo ndio manifesto ya mtu. Eh everything was just bangi. Bangi, tu kila kitu eh, ni bangi. Ba- bangi will pay our debts. Bangi italipa madeni. Bangi will give us money. Bangi itatupea pesa. It a million uh, from a maker of bangi uh, kutoka ekari moja ya bangi. I was saying, hey, this wickedness Lord. Nikasema uovu huu Mungu. I was just God I have not prayed I'm sorry oh God. Nikasema Mungu sijaomba nisamee. That such wickedness. Kwamba uovu wa kiwango hiki. He, he, somebody is not even ashamed. Na mtu haibiki. Don't we know what bug does? Je, tunajua kazi ambayo bug inafanya. Have we seen how children have become cabbages? Tumewaona watoto vile wamekuwa mboga tu. We have seen it all. We know how bad it is. Then now it is going to come and redeem us from our problems. Can you imagine that? And I was asking myself if Bangi was that profitable and that good. How come it has not saved uh, this country called Jamaica. Kwa nini haijaokoa nchi ambayo inaitwa Jamaica? Jamaica right now should be first world class. Hiyo inafaa kuwa ni nchi ya kwanza. Because since I go to hear about Jamaica, Tangu they were smoking bangi, it was Jamaica, legal. Walikuwa na They were planting bangi. Walikuwa wanapanda bangi. Bangi is free. Ni bure huko. It flows freely. Eh hey, huko inazunguka tu. So they have no restriction they can plant Hawana vizuizi vyote, wanaweza kulima mashamba. So they should be very rich. Do, do you see the deception of the devil? Sana. Je, unaona huo udanganyivu wa shetani? So, so if that is the truth, Bahamas would be very rich. Kama hiyo ndio kweli nchi ya Bahamas ingekuwa uh, not Bahamas, Jamaica. Jamaica. And another country called Venezuela. Na Venezuela. Colombia. Aha. Uh-huh. Those nations are led by drug lords. Mataifa haya yanaongozwa na watu bangi, heroin, nicot- those things are planted ya bangi, heroin, But there is no peace. Lakini hakuna amani. Maybe the only rich people are the drug lords themselves. Oh, wale ni matajiri pale ndio wale wauza madawa ya kulevya. But Venezuela is a third world very is one of the poorest. Venezuela ni inchi maskini because you cannot prosper in wickedness. Kwa hivyo uwezi ukanawiri katika uovu. Prosperity comes from God. Kuna wiri kunatoka kwa Mungu. It comes from the Lord. Inatoka kwa Bwana. The blessings come from the Lord. Baraka zinatoka kwa Bwana. It does not come from such things. Haitoki kwa mambo maovu kama hayo. Never. Prosperity is ordered by God. Kuna wiri, kuna na and that is why he's interested with the right leadership in place. Na ndio maana anaweka makini sana kwa uongozi ulio sawa. Amen. Amina. Do you want to hear how America prospered? Je, unataka kujua Marekani walinawiri vipi? Hawakupanda bangi. Amina. But they are very rich today. Lakini ni matajiri sasa hivi. Amen. Amina. America they had Washington Marekani. George Wash- Washington eh Marekani walikuwa na George Washington he was their president alikuwa ni rais and wow. other people na watu wengine those people were praying wa wow, watu hao walikuwa wanaomba they were praying for america walikuwa naombea marekani they were men of god walikuwa ni watu wa they wrote a, a, a constitution wakaweka katiba that is godly 
They put God in their constitution. They put God in their schools. They put God everywhere. They embrace the Ten Commandments. And that is how America prospered. God began to bless America. And they were able to overtake Britain. Britain. Britain that time was the superpower going all over the world. Britain, colonizing, dominating everything. Uh -huh. Even they had colonized America itself. So the people who had actually come from America, they were running away from, you know, the oppression of the British people. And they were coming to a place where there was freedom of worship. Where you can worship God freely. You don't have to be told you have to worship him this way. Where the word of God is preached and they found that refuge in America. And that is how they decided they are going to give God dominion over America. And soon God prospered them, made them very wealthy. Because in Deuteronomy 8 it says what? It is the Lord that gives us the ability to make well. So God gave them the ability to make well. And they became a superpower. So don't be deceived. It is God. If we put God and give him his place. Blessed is that nation whose God is the Lord. Then we shall be blessed. Even in a wilderness we shall be blessed. Israel is so blessed. Israel I understand it is wilderness. Land. But in the wilderness God is able to make you wealthy. Mungu anaweza kukufanya tajiri. What happened to Isaac? Je, kulifanyika nini kwa Isaac? Isaac sold sold in the desert. Ah, Isaac alipanda katika jangwa. And he is it? Yes, yeah, sold and then he reaped a hundred. Na kavuna mara 100. If God says plant we plant. Amen. Amen. If God says dig. He knows what is there underneath. All what you need is to trust him. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read some verses. So that you don't report me and say, she never read a single story. <laughs> Let's go to a Psalms 100. Psalms 100. Amen. Are we blessed? Psalms 100. I will just read. Zaburi Mia. To media left. Kwa service hii. Ok. Amina. Psalms 100. Zaburi mia. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, O Thea. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever. And his faithfulness continues to each 
generation naomba kusoma kwa Kiswahili mfanyeni bwana shangwe dunia yote mtumikieni bwana kwa furaha jioni mbele zake kwa kuimba jueni kwamba bwana ndiye Mungu ndiye aliyetuumba sisi tu watu wake tu watu wake na kondoo wa malisho yake ingieni malangoni mwake kwa kushukuru nyuani mwake kwa kusifu mshukuruni lihimidiwe jina lake kwa kuwa bwana ndiye mwema rehema zake ni za milele na uaminifu wake vizazi na vizazi amina amen let's also read psalms 34 verse 8 zaburi 34 mstari wa 8 oh test and see that the lord is good blessed is the man who takes refuge in him um amen i just okay that i said psalms 34 verse 8 mstari wa wa nane wa nane ate aiko oh sorry sorry naenda hivi ah mstari wa nane onjeni muone ya kuwa bwana yu mwema heri mtu anayemtumainia that is david he was saying huyo ni daudi test and see alikuwa anasema onjeni muone that the lord is kwamba bwana ni mwema blessed is the man who takes refuge in him heri mtu yule anayemtumainia i just told you the story of my uncle he took refuge ya mjomba wangu alimtumainia mungu instead of you know wallowing in discouragement hopelessness badala ya kutembea katika kukosa tumaini na kuvunjika moyo yeah, feeling so sorry na akijurumia sana saying how am i no fun akisema vile yeye ni yatima i have no one sina mtu yeyote in fact he was saying if i didn't join those missionaries alikuwa anasema kama singejiunga na wale wa missionaries i would have continued languishing in the village ningezidi kupotelea kule kijijini and maybe i wouldn't be there be na, here today pengine singekuwa siku ya leo eh shetani angemumaliza na depression Amina. Na hanga. Na njaa. Na puberty. Na umaskini. Yeah. You know they had ganged. You know they are, you know shida. Mm-hmm. It has ganged against you. Shida imekugeukia. Yeah, you look at this side. The, Unatazama upande huu. There is no hope. Hakuna tumaini. But God. Lakini Mungu. Amen. Amina. God is faithful. Mungu ni mwaminifu. Let us take refuge in him tumtumainie yeye he is the solution yeye ndio suluhisho he is the solution of our economy yeye ndio suluhisho ya uchumi wetu no of course this, Minajua, we are in trouble kwa, to, to, tuko kwa to, shida the, the flies returning at how much 200 wa ugali shilingi 200 the one for chapati 230 unga wa chapati 230 they want to take us to those days when we used to cook chapati once in a year wanataka kuturudisha zile siku za kupika chapati siku ya december siku kuu you remember those days of christmas yes eh? zile za christmas that is when chapati was made ndio chapati kilipikwa siku hiyo Now maybe they want us to go back to those days but he say no in Jesus name. Kwa siku hizo lakini tunasema la katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Haleluya. We take our refuge in our God. Tunamtumainia Mungu. We tell him to heal our land. Tunamwambia aponye nchi yetu. The Bible says that when my people in 2 Chronicles 7:14 we know it. Um mambo ya nyakati that says that when my people who are called by my name Wakati shall come themselves and pray, kwa jina langu hmm? then i will hear and watanyenyekea na kutubu nitasikia land nitasikia kilio chao na nitaponya nchi yao our god will heal this economy mungu wetu ataponya uchumi wetu all we need to do is pray tunachohitaji kufanya ni kuomba is trust him ni kumwaminia it will happen litatimia It looks like there is a lot of hopelessness. Kuna ka kuna kukosa tumaini sana. Because of corruption. Kwa sababu ya ufisadi. 
But I want to tell you, that corruption that looks like endemic, pandemic, whatever, one day, before I die, it will be a thing of the past. In the name of Jesus. All we need to do is ask God for revival. And those thieves will get saved. Those thieves in the civil service. And in parliament. The, Lord, the Lord's fear will be in their hearts. And they will not take a penny that is not theirs. Amen. Amen. Let us bring God to our nation. Let us make God God. Because blessed is the nation whose God is a Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Mungu ni mungu mwema. Let's read the story of uh, Matthew chapter 20. Matthew 20. He was talking up Jesus was talking about the kingdom of God. Yes, alikuwa anazungumzia ufalme wa Mungu. He said for the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them in, into his vineyard. Or could you read in Kiswahili yes. so that we go first? Uh, kwa maana ufalme wa mbinguni umefanana na mtu mwenye nyumba aliyetoka alfajiri kwenda kuajiri wakulima awapeleke katika shamba lake la mzabibu naye alipokwisha kupatana na wakulima kuwapa kutwa dinari aliwapeleka katika shamba lake la mzabibu Aka, akatoka Mnamo saa tatu, akaona wengine wakisimama sokoni wasio kuwa na kazi. Na hao, na hao nao, akawambia, enendeni nanyi katika shamba langu la mizabibu, na ilio haki nitawapa, wakaenda. Akatoka tena mnamo saa sita, na saa kenda, akafanya vile vile. Na hata saa kumi na moja, akatoka, akakutana, akakuta wengine wamesimama, akawaambia mbona mmesimama hapa mchana kutwa bila kazi wakamwambia kwa sababu hakuna mtu aliyetuajiri akawaambia enendeni nanyi katika shamba la mizabibu kulipo kucha yule bwana wa shamba akamwambia aka, aka msimamizi wake waiteni wakulima uwape ujira wao ukianzia na wa mwisho na hata wa kwanza na walipokuja wale wa saa kumi na moja walipokea kila mtu dinari na wale wa kwanza walipokuja walidhani kwamba watapokea zaidi na hao pia wakapokea kila mtu dinari basi wakiishi kuipokea wakamnungunikia mwenye nyumba wakisema hao wa mwisho wamekwenda kazini saa moja tu na na nawe umewapa samahani Nawe umewapa sawazisha na sisi nawe umewasawazisha na sisi tuliostahimili tahabu na hali na hari za mchana kutwa naye akamjibu aka mmoja wao akamwambia rafiki siku kudhulumu huku hukupatana nami kwa dinari chukua iliyo yako uende zako napenda kumpa huyu wa mwisho sawa nawe Si halali yangu kutumia vilivyo vyangu kama nipendavyo au jicho langu limekuwa limekuwa ovu kwa sababu ya samani kwa sababu ya mimi kuwa mwema Niendele? Okay sawa thank you Asante Verse 15 Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me Mstari wa 15 si halali 
yangu kutumia vilivyo vyangu kama nipendavyo or do you begrudge my generosity au jicho langu limekuwa ovu kwa sababu mimi kuwa mwema ehe kuwa mwema god kuwa mwema amen mungu kuwa mwema hallelujah hallelujah our god is mungu wetu ni mwema so the last will be first and the first will be last. Wa kwanza atakuwa wa mwisho na wa mwisho atakuwa wa kwanza. I know you know this story and you have followed. Najua mnajua hadithi hii na mmeifuatilia. How this you know this man went out. Vile mtu huyo alitoka kule nje. Got some people there idling standing in the marketplace walikuwa wamesimama kule sokoni hoping someone would hire them. Wakitatumainia kwamba mtu atawaajiri maybe by 9 kufikia maybe saa 3 hivi then saa sita. Uh -huh. and he was hiring these people na alikuwa anawaajiri watu hao they were agreeing na walikuwa wanakubaliana one nitawalipa oh. dinari yeah. then saa kumi. paka saa kumi na mbili saa all five mhm mm saa kumi na moja. paka jioni mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These people were still hopeful. Watu hao walikuwa wanatumaini. At 5 they would have given up, isn't it? Kufikia saa 11 moja pengine wangekata tumaini. Elder Joseph, would you be waiting for work uh, up to 5? Ungekuwa unasubiri kutokea saa saba mpaka saa 11 jioni. So you have yoni. given up. Ungekata tamaa. Nobody is coming to hire me. Hakuna mtu anakuja kukuajiri. It is now in evening. Sasa ni masaa ya jioni. Just one hour it will be dark. Uh, kupita saa moja lisali moja kutakuwa kunaagiza so, usipeleki unga nyumbani mama ata, atajipanga <laughs> i didn't get hired sikuajiriwa <laughs> but i thank god that they eh, they were patient mungu, they, they were wabubili. still there hoping walikuwa pale wakitumainia para adventure kwa Eh, a miracle may happen. Kwa, and I go home with something. Now they were not kitu. even praying to get some work. Because which work can you work for one hour and you are Sasa paid? Ni gani mm. But somehow they held on to hope. They never went home. And now this eh, the, 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 the employer again comes na mwajiri akakuja and finds these people na akawakuta hawa watu you are still here you are still standing bado mmesimama hapa they said eh hey, because nobody hired us eh hey, kwa sababu hakuna mtu aliyetuajiri hakuna mtu alitupea kazi mhm mm we are just here tuko tu hapa yeah, we don't know what to do hatujui cha kufanya but he said akaambia kujeni i'll hire you nitawapea kazi give you and dinari nitawapa dinari eh uh -huh. mm -hmm. and they went they were happy they worked na wakaenda walikuwa na furaha wakafanya kazi hour, kwa hiyo lisali moja then the time to pay the wages na wakati yeah. wa kulipa mshahara ukafika now the yeah. master started doing what paying na bwana kaanza kuwalipa those who came early wale waliokuja mapema mm, they have been there toiling wamekuwa pale through the sun through the wind through the dust na upepo tiredness na kuchoka kwingi they were paid wakapewa dinari all of them were paid one dinari wote wakapewa dinari kila mmoja these people who came early they said ah ah wale waliofika ah, ah, this is not fair wakaanza kulalamika si haki Of course it looked like uh, ni kweli ilikaa ni kama wananyanyaswa fairness mm -hmm. in god's kingdom nyanyaswa katika ufalme wa mungu there is no that is how the kingdom of god is hivyo ndivyo ufalme wa mungu it is a kingdom ni ufalme don't talk about fairness usiseme usawa amen amina it is ruled, ruled by a king Unatawalwa na mfalme. And the word of the king is final. Na neno la mfalme ndilo la mwisho. So whatever the king says that is what stands. Anachosema mfalme ndicho kinasimama. So don't tell him about fairness. Usimwambie kuhusu usawa. Amen. Amina. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he says that he's good. Anasema kwamba yeye ni mwema. Do you begrudge my generosity? Now that I've decided to bless these people the same way I blessed you. Kwamba nimeyafanya uamuzi kuwabariki vile nilivyowabariki. Is it wrong to bless them? Ni vibaya kuwabariki? So the last shall become first. Kwa hiyo wa mwisho atakuwa wa kwanza. And the first last. Na wa kwanza atakuwa wa mwisho. What am I saying? Ninachosema ni nini? Let us not give up. Tusikate tamaa. It is not over until God says it is. Haijaisha mpaka Mungu aseme imeisha. We may look like we are called that world nations. Tunaweza kaa tumerudi kama nchi maskini. Black Africa. Ah, wa Africa weusi. Everything poverty. Kila kitu ni umaskini. In fact I understand there are some wazungu when they come. Naelewa kuna wazungu wengine wanapokuja. And they see our cities. Wanaona our roads. Wanaona miji yetu. Our hotels. Na barabara zetu na hoteli zetu. They are like eh? Wanashaka. We live like this. Because in their mind they think we kwa live sababu, on we live in the bush or in the trees or something. Kwa sababu kwa akili zao anafikiria tunaishi kwenye msitu. We don't even eh? we are so poor. Tuko maskini sana. Yeah, everything labeled with the poverty is Africa. Kila kitu ambacho kimewekwa umaskini ni cha Africa. And they love showing those documentaries. Na wanapenda kuonyesha zile kanda. Do with children who are half naked with the na tears and, and the flies wako na machozi na inzi wanawazunguka and kuashiako and marasmas na magonjwa haya yote ya kukosa chakula those are the things they show hayo ndio mambo wanaonyeshwa kule but i want to tell you lakini nataka nikwambie that god who hired them mungu ambaye aliyewaajiri saa tatu asubuhi that god huyo mungu he will hire us ndio atatuajiri the first shall become the last shall become wa mwisho atafanyika wa kwanza is it not written in the word of god je halijaandikwa kwenye neno la mungu it is written isn't it imeandikwa that even if we are coming in late hata kama tunafika kwa kuchelewa the same ni malipo ni yale the same blessing the same payment malipo sawa from our god kutoka kwa mungu wetu amen amina I want to encourage us. Nataka kututia moyo. God is coming. Mungu anakuja. Let us hold on. Wacha tushikilie pale. He will hire us. Atatuajiri. Even if it's at the last moment. Hata kama ni dakika ya mwisho. And the payment is the same. Na malipo ni sawa. Amen. Amina. It is not late. Hajachelewa. Amen. Amina. Whatever is your situation, I want to tell you it is not late. ni hali yako hujachelewa. God is coming. Mungu anakuja. To turn things around for Kugeuza you. Kugeuza mambo kwa ajili yako. The last shall become first. Wa mwisho atafanywa wa kwanza. You may look like you are the least in your family. Unaweza kaa wewe ndio duni zaidi katika familia yako. God will turn around your situation. Mungu atageuza hali yako. According to these scriptures we have read. Kulingana na maandiko haya tumesoma. Because it's the same payment. Kwa sababu ni malipo sawa. You have not built your house now. Ujajenga nyumba yako sasa. But you are going to build the best. Lakini utajenga iliyo bora. Amen. Amina. Because it is not over. Kwa sababu haijaisha. Our God who is generous and good. Mungu ambaye ni mkarimu na mwema. When you take refuge in him. Unapojihifadhi kwake. He will lift you up. Atakuinua. He will change your situation. Atabadilisha hali yako. We are not going to give up. Hatutakata tamaa. We are not going to walk by sight. Hatutaenda kwa mtazamo. We will walk by faith. Tutatembea kwa imani. Even right now we don't know who is going to be the president Ata of Kenya. Hata sasa hivi hatujui atakaye kuwa rais wa Kenya. We don't even know. Hatujui. But we know one thing. Lakini tunajua jambo moja. God will raise that person. Mungu atamuinua mtu. God will huyu. give us a president that fears God. Mungu atatupa mfalme ambaye hofu ya Mungu ikoje. That in the purposes of God ambaye anaingia katika kusudi la Mungu. through that person. Na kupitia kwa mtu huyu. And our prayers are saints of God. Na maombi yetu kama watakatifu wa His Mungu. purpose will come to pass. Kusudi lake litatimia. His purpose of prosperity will come to pass. Kusudi lake la Kenya will not sink. Kenya will go up. 
Kenya haitazimia itainuka. Kenya will fulfill her destiny. Kenya itatimiza hatima yake. We just trust in the Lord. Tunaaminia Mungu. The book of Daniel says Danieli I think chapter 4 somewhere it says that God is the one who rules in the kingdoms of men and he gives he gives to whosoever he will. Mungu ndiye utawala katika falme za binadamu na humpa anayekusudia So we don't have to worry. Kwa hivyo hatufai kutia hofu. But let's pray. Lakini wacha tuombe. Let us pray. Wacha tuombe. Let us trust God. Wacha tumwaminie Mungu. He will turn around. Ata atageuza mambo. Tell the righteous it is well with them. Even this time. Tell the righteous it is well with them. Hallelujah. I say the Lord is good. Psalms 145 verse 7 says the Lord is good. He is gracious and compassionate. He is slow to anger. Ni si mwepesi wa asira and great in faithful love. Na ni mkuu katika uaminifu wa upendo. Amen. Amen. And he has never never changed. Na yeye habadiliki. He will never change with the seasons. Habadiliki na majira. He will not change because there is a famine. Hata badilika kwa sababu kuna He continues to be faithful. Anazidi kuwa mwaminifu. He does not change with the elections. Habadiliki na uchaguzi. They come and they go but God continues to be God. Uchaguzi huja na kwenda lakini Mungu anazidi kuwa mwaminifu. His word continues to be his word. Neno lake linazidi kuwa neno lake. Amen. Amina. And his purposes will come to pass. Na kusudi lake litatimia. Because we are here to make sure they come to pass. Kwa sababu tuko hapa we are here to encourage ourselves to pray. To encourage ourselves to take refuge in God. When everyone is murmuring, complaining, we are going to trust in the Lord. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Let us stand and pray. Tusimame na tuombe. Just look at your heart. Tazama moyo wako. Whatever is your situation. Chochote ambacho ni hali yako. Whether you are losing faith. Pengine unapoteza imani. Situations looked so impossible before you. Hali zinaonekana haziwezekani mbele ya macho yako. Just take some time and thank God. Chukua muda umshukuru Mungu. Tell him thank you God you have spoken to me. Mwambie Mungu asante kwa kuninenea. That you will never leave me, you will never forsake me. Kwamba hautaniacha. That God you are a good God. Kwamba Mungu wewe ni Mungu mwema. It is never too late for me. Kwamba haiwe muda uweze ukasonga kwangu. Just, just thank him. Just, just commune with God. Just tell him that you know. He will turn around your situation. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, our Father. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor, our King. Blessed be your glorious name. We worship you. We thank you, Redeemer. We give our lives to you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just give us one worship. We just worship and pray the last prayer. We give you all the glory. You are all the honor. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. We worship you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
belongs to you. Kenya belongs to you, Lord. It will never go to the dogs because it belongs to you. Now we pray, our Father, because you say that we humble ourselves and pray, seek your face, then, Lord, you will cause the rain. You will heal the land. Heal our land, our Father, we pray. Heal our land, we plead. Give us rain, our God. Give us rain, we pray. Give us natural rain, O oh God, we pray. That there should 
be no famine in our land and give us spiritual rain in the name of Jesus. Spiritual rain that is going to change the atmosphere, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we are declaring, Lord, from this altar, our Father and our God, that only the righteous people, people that will propagate your agenda, will be elected this forthcoming elections. It doesn't matter how many, how much campaign they do. It doesn't matter how much money they splash. It doesn't matter how much they speak to the people. It doesn't matter, oh God. What matters is your purpose to come to pass. We are praying for the right leaders in the right positions. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, as your people, oh God, we take power, we take authority in the name of Jesus that you have given to us. You said we shall tread on serpents, on scorpions, and over every power of the enemy. Nothing shall hurt us, Lord. Right now, the demonic powers, the satanic orders that have been released right now by the devil, by his camp, we pull them down in the name of Jesus. We set them on fire. We set them on fire in the name of Jesus. We set them on fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Lord, let their altars split. Let their altars fall. Let, their, let them burn and let their ashes pour out in the name of Jesus. Father, we are saying that the altar of Jesus Christ will stand, will rule this nation. Lord, you are on our side. Yes. They that be on our side as the church are more than the, those that are with the enemy. Father, in the name of Jesus, arise and let your enemies be scattered. Arise and let your enemies be scattered. Arise for Kenya. Arise, our God, in the name of Jesus. And that only those who will glorify your name who will acknowledge you as God, will take the, the, the lead in the name of Jesus. We will be elected as leaders in this nation. Every other, they will not see the light of day. They will not be elected. We declare it in the name of Jesus. Your word says that we shall declare a matter, we shall decree, and it shall come to pass. We decree it in the name of Jesus. Honor those who acknowledge God. Honor those who have your agenda will be elected. Father, we are tired of corruption. We are tired of wickedness in the name of Jesus. And those who are blasphemous, Lord, smite them and remove them out of the way. Stop their mouths. Terrify them in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We declare Kenya belongs to you. And you alone receive the glory. Yes. You alone receive the glory. Yes. Because we belong to you, Lord. Yes. And there can never be otherwise. We belong to God. Yes. We take refuge to you, Lord. Yes. We take refuge in God. Yes. God is God in this nation. And you remain to be God yes. in the name of Jesus. You will be served and worshipped as God yes. in this nation in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we exhort you as we cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. Father, the, the little needs that we have, oh God, we pray that you shall meet us at the point of our needs, that we shall not feel the heat, we shall not go complaining. God, provide for us, even in this time of famine. Provide for us, Lord. Let every need be met. Let every door open in the name of Jesus. We pray that, Lord, may you touch us, may you heal us, heal our bodies, heal our spiritual lives. Heal us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Heal our land. We bless you and we exhort you. We bow to you, O oh God. And we declare you Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you. One hour, baby. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus. Let's appreciate Pastor Beatrice. Hallelujah. Appreciate her better. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Thanks to Jesus. And then appreciate God with a clap offering. Hallelujah. Yes. Our God is well able. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, uh, woman of God, for that word. I just want us to praise God with one song, and then we will go to the announcements, and we will give our offerings, and then we will go home. Amen. Hallelujah. Just to, uh, uh, let's praise God with one song. ningependa usimame tuombe na wewe na vile vile uh, ninge, nitasema vile uh, elda, elda Joseph alisema asubuhi najua fungu la kumi sio hata sio kutoa ni kulipa ni kulipa kwa sababu hakuna kupingana na Mungu hapo hizi zingine unaweza toa kulingana na vile wewe mwenyewe una unahisi lakini fungu la kumi ni kama sheria kwa Mungu uh, kwa hivyo kama uko na fungu la kumi uh, unatoa ningependa usimame tuombe na wewe na fungu la kumi ni asilimia kumi kwa kila kwa kila kitu ambacho Mungu anakupatia uh, na unajua kuna watu wanasema lazima ikuwe pesa nakumbuka kuna siku moja nikiwa nikiwa nyumbani pastor Beatrice Jumapili nikachukua mbuzi zangu nika unajua 15 kilometers nikatembea na mbuzi zangu zote mpaka kwa kanisa kwa sababu aka kale kadogo nilikuwa naenda kutoa hakangeenda peke yake kange nisumbua kwa barabara kwa hivyo nilipeleka zote nikafika kanisani nikazifunga huko zikakula majani kurudi nikafunga nikafungua zile narudi nazo kale kadogo nikaacha kanisani kama fast fruit kwa hivyo sio fungu la kumi sio ikuwe ni pesa naweza kuja na mayai wavukaji naweza kuja na sukuma naweza kuja na chochote kile ambacho Mungu amekupatia una 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 unashughulika nacho amen hata manguo manguo tuko na bangi ya manguo hapa tunawekanga manguo hapa ikitosha kiasi tunapeana kwa wapendwa kanisani na zingine tunapelekea pia kwa children's home ama hivi karibuni HBC wanaenda kule kwa prison wanapelekea watu huko kama zawadi kwa hivyo sio lazima ikuwe tu ni pesa peke yake na pia kwa ili kanisa kuna ile uh, uh, ile mwito um, ama ile uguzo ambayo Mungu aliweka ndani ya mtumishi wake kuhusu imani na 
kila mtu ambaye ameitikia kuhusu huu mwito wa kutoa kwa imani Mungu amekuwa akifungua milango uh, katika maisha yao na wanapata mapato ya kimiujiza. Na mimi nimeiona kutoka tu niingie ni, ni katika hii huduma ikitendeka. Kuna hii sadaka inaitwa sadaka ya imani. Ukiangalia kwa ile bahasha yako utaona kuna ile maandiko ya faith seed kwa Kiingereza. Ni hii ni ile ambayo unatoka kwa imani, unatarajia Mungu. Kando na ile ambayo najua unapata. Kama we ni mtu wa mshahara, basi wewe unasema Ningependa Mungu afungue njia kando na ile mshahara natarajia anipatie mapato tofauti. Na unapoenda kwa imani kama hiyo Mungu anafungua milango unapata ile mapato kuleti yote. Unachukua kiazi kulingana na vile Mungu amekuguza we mwenyewe unaleta kama sadaka ya imani ya kuprovoke ama kuchochea Mungu aendelee kufungua milango. Na hiyo ni yako na Mungu. Hakuna mahali tunasema tutakufuatilia ama mtu atakufuatilia. Ah mchungaji hawezi kukufuatilia ama kanisa haita kufuatilia ni wewe mwenyewe na Mungu wako na unapotembea hivyo Mungu anafungua njia anapeana kwa imani kwa maisha yako pia Mungu anaweza kuwa amekutendea mambo amekuponya amekufungulia biashara mpya amekusaidia umefanya moja ama mbili na unataka kutoa sadaka ya shukurani pia hiyo ni sadaka ambayo tunaua tunatoa katika kajili kanisa na vile nimesema kuhusu sadaka ya mazao ya kwanza Uh, mimi nilifunzwa hiyo nikiwa mtoto mdogo na nimetoa mahindi, nimetoa maragwe, nimetoa njugu, nimetoa mbuzi vile nimekuambia hivyo nimetoa pesa na Mungu amenisaidia kuendelea. Na wacha nikwambie kitu moja. Huyu huyu mtumishi wa Mungu huyu Elder Joseph ni rafiki yangu sana. Na sio tu rafiki kwa sababu ya urafiki ya kuna benefit. Tuna we unajua kuna benefit tunapatanga kando ya mambo ya Mungu. Kuna kitu moja aliniambia Pastor Beatrice Aliniambia mimi tithe ile ninatoa sio ile kitu ninapatanga. Unaweza pata nimetoa ukiangalia ukiangalia kwa bahasa unaona maybe nimetoa kama elfu kumi. Sio haimaanishi napata elfu moja naweza kuwa napata hata elfu hamsini. Lakini ninatembea kwa imani Amen. kwamba nataka nipate ile elfu moja. Amen. I put that one into practice. Niliweka kwa matendo ikanitendekea na inaendelea. Hata saa hii ukiangalia fungu langu la kumi. Unaweza fikiria huyu jamaa anapata pesa mingi hapana. Ni hiyo nataka nifike pale. Mpaka nifike ile digit. Digit ya inakuwa ina ngapi ni saba. Hapo saba hiyo Ella Joshua tutakuwa sawa, si ndio? Hapo <laughs> lazima. Hiyo lazima tufike hiyo saba. Hiyo saba lazima. Nimeanza kuiona kabisa, nimeiona kabisa. Hiyo saba kwa hivyo na wewe ukitaka Mungu akufikishe kwa hiyo digit saba. Amen. Anza kutembea kwa imani. Kwa hivyo uh, kwa hili kanisa tuna pia mi, mi, uh, miradi zinaendelea hapa na pale ukiangalia pale nje tumeanza kufanya landscaping tunatengeneza komba unikae vizuri na ningependa unapokuja na watoto tafadhali uambie watoto wasikanyage nyazi vile niliambia wale wapendo wa, wa, wa asubuhi kwetu kwenye ninatoka ukuona mti ikiwa green inakuanga ni kawaida kwa sababu mvua iko na kama hakuna mvua maji imejaa lakini sasa huku kitu kukua green ni muujiza kwa sababu mvua haiko na kuna kitu imefanya ikatendeka kwa hivyo hiyo nyanzi ukiona ikiwa green ni maji tumeekelea na hiyo ni maji tumenunua kwa hivyo tafadhali tukue uh, careful ama waangalifu ili tusikanyage ama kuua hayo maua na pia ningependa tusimame na hizi miradi Kiangalia pale kuna vyo ambazo hazijaisha hapa juu kuna vyumba 24 ambazo zinatengenezwa wale ambao wanatoka mbali wanakuja kwa, kwa ajili ya maombi kwa ajili ya kongamano wanaweza kaa pale kwa, kwa rumi yako ikiwa self contained na hizo ni miradi zinaendelea za kanisa mwezi wa kumi tunaanzisha pale kanisa cathedral hii sio kanisa kwa wale ambao wamekuja juu hivi karibuni ama hivi juzi hili sio kanisa Kanisa tunajenga pale kanisa la how many how many sita? E, kwa saa hii tunajenga ya elfu mbili. Saa hii tunaweka pale ya elfu mbili lakini na ile option ya kuextend. Watu wakiongezeka tunaongeza wafike elfu tano. Kwa hivyo elfu mbili ma wanatoka Jam City na hii naipa huko. Hii sio kanisa hili tumejenga tu itakuwa school of ministry itakuwa hope kukutana na kukula. 
na itakuwa mzuri na tunajenga ingine hivi karibuni pia tukimaliza kanisa kama hii hapa ya shule ya huduma kwa hivyo tuendelee kusimama na hii miradi na Mungu akikuguza tafadhali unapojenga nyumbani kumbuka kanisa inajenga na pia utabarikiwa kuna pia ile sadaka ya upendo sadaka ya upendo kwa makanisa mingi wame wameiharibu wame ukiangalia kwa runinga uangalia makanisa zingine wameiharibu ile ya ku, wale wanakwambia wana enda uchukue pesa yote kwa account ulete Mungu atakubariki lakini wewe mwenyewe ukishakuja kwenda hapa umeona Mungu uh, amekubariki na unataka neema ambayo ameweka juu ya watumishi wake iendelee kufanya kazi katika kitambo katika wakati wa Musa kulikuwa na ile ilikuwa inaitwa band offering yani sadaka ya kuchoma Una, unatoa kitu mpaka unasikia ndani umeumia umeumia kabisa kwa hivyo ukitaka neema ambayo iko hapa ifanye kazi katika maisha yako na wewe pia jitoe upende watumishi wa Mungu na ile sadaka unayotoa ya, ya, ya watumishi wa Mungu inaitwa love offering love offering love of ama sadaka ya upendo love offering unaambia Mungu nataka neema ambayo iko juu ya watumishi wako ama mtumishi wako inifanyie kazi kama ni kwa biashara kazi naye Mungu ataifanya jinzi uh, umemuomba ume mimi nime, nime, nimefanya hivyo na nikaona Mungu akinitendea kila wakati ninapata kazi mpya kila wakati ninataka promotion kila wakati nataka salary review lazima niseme hii wacha nisimame na mtumishi wa Mungu neema ambayo iko juu yake initende, initende na imekuwa ikitenda kwa hivyo utatoa hii sadaka na Mungu atakubariki. Kila Jumapili saa moja na dakika 25 kwa runinga ya Kingdom TV. Kipindi cha Compassionate Hour ambacho ni cha hili kanisa kinapeperishwa pale. Kwa hivyo fungua runinga yako, tazama na pia uambie majirani na ma, watu wa nyumbani mkaeze kutazama wa, pamoja. Lakini pia huwa tunalipia na tungeomba kwamba Mungu akuze we watu wengi hapa ndani na huko nje ili wasimame pamoja na hii kipindi kwa kutoa sadaka ama kutoa ku, uh, kuhusu hii uh, 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 kipindi ambayo inapeperishwa katika runinga ya Kingdom ili tuweze hata kusonga kwa runinga nyingine na nyingine na tufike kwa kila runinga katika inji na inji za mataifa watu wengi wapate hili neno kwa hivyo ningewaomba kwamba Musimame pamoja na hii kwa kutoa sadaka na Mungu atawabariki kulingana na vile Mungu atakuguza sio lazima lakini ni vile Mungu amekuguza amen mwisho na sio mwisho kabisa ni sadaka ina, ina, ya kawaida ukikuja kanisani usikuje mikono tubu tafadhali beba kitu ya kuambia Mungu asante nimekuja kanisani na nimekuletea zawadi na nataka niombe kwa hayo yote waimbaji watatupatia wimbo kwa wale ambao wako nyumbani mnaweza ona uh, nambari za uh, za malipo ziko pale kwa uh, runinga uh, na wale pia wako hapa kama uko na auna pesa taslimu unaweza tuma kwa Mpesa kuna paybill number pale na pia kuna account iko pale andika jina lako na pia ni nini unatoa kwa ajili kama ni fungu la kumi, kama ni televisheni kama ni ya upendo kama ni ni ashukurani onyeshana naye Mungu atakubariki. Amen. Basi wacha tuombe. Baba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo, jinzi nimetaja haya matoleo moja kwa moja. Tunaenda mbele zako ili tukakutolee. Na ninaomba kwamba kila mmoja wetu anapotoa, wacha nguvu zako za upeanaji zikaonekane. Miujiza ya kufungua milango, kufungua biashara, kufungua kazi kufungua mapato ambayo haijulikani mahali inatoka. Wacha ikawe a, 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 ikawe juu yao ya kila mmoja ambaye atasimama pamoja na hii huduma. Tunapohubiri injili, tunapofikia wale ambao wanahitaji kujua e, neno lako, tunapowafikia kwa runinga, tunapojenga hapa, tunapotengeneza mambo mbili tatu ya kutengeneza mahali hapa ikue mzuri. Ninaomba kila mtu ambaye atatoa pesa yake, wale watajenga kanisa, wajengee manyumba zao. Wale watanunua a, a, watanunua magari ya wapendwa kutembelelea ndani wacha na wewe wao wasitembee kwa miguu lakini naomba kwamba Mungu baraka zako za mbinguni zitaendelea 
kuonekana na kudhirika katikati yetu ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo naomba na kuamini Amen. Eh, ukiwa na pesa taslimu utaweka kwa hiki kapu na Mungu atakubariki kabla nisahau uh, jinsi ni uh, mnajua tuna basi letu ambalo tumenunua na lina linakuja hii mwezi Mungu akitusaidia mambo ikamilike vizuri hii mwezi tutalipata hapa na kwa hivyo uh, pia kama umeguzwa kusimama uh, pamoja na uh, uh, mchango huo umekaribishwa na Mungu atakubariki uh, jumla uh, ya pesa taslimu ilikuwa milioni 5.8 uh, na Mungu ataenda kutusaidia tutalipa kama tulilipa hii na tukalipa shamba na tukanunua tukajenga hii hata hilo na mashamba zingine tutanunua amen Mungu akubariki unapotoa asanteni thank you jesus jina la yesu ni ngome yangu jina la yesu ni tamkapo jina hilo ngome nyingine sina ni tamkapo jina hilo ngome nyingine sina jina la yesu jina ni ngome ya jina la yesu jina la yesu jina ni ngome ya ni tamkapo tumalizie haya amen asanteni sana um, ningependa kuona kama kuna wale wageni walikuwa hapa la uh, Jumapili iliyopita ni mmoja tu au wengine walikuwa ibada ya asubuhi ndugu yetu Rich, Richard Cheruyot ako hapa kutoka Kanju Richard okay Richard hayuko uh, wapendwa kutoka Jam City bado uh, tunawapenda tunawaomba tunaomba kwamba muendelee kukusanyika vile mlikuwa mnapoendelea kukuja na kukua na ushirika wenu wapendwa pia wale ambao mnatoka hapa pembeni ya kanisa tunajua mko hapa na tunaomba kwamba Mungu awapatie neema muendelee kufikia majirani wenu pia mkiwakaribisha kanisani ili kanisa ni lenu wengine wetu tukiwaambia mahali tumetoka kukuja hapa 
mtashangaa kwa nini tumetoka huko kote tukakuja hapa kwa hivyo uh, ili kanisa ni la wapendwa ambao wamejenga hapa ama wanaishi hapa karibu ili kanisa ni leni kwa sababu asubuhi mchana jioni usiku imefunguliwa kwa ajili yenu kukuja kuomba kwa hivyo karibuni sana wacha nione kama uko hapa na wewe ni jirani ya kanisa Buni ona kama wewe ni jirani ya kanisa inua mkono wako juu ni peperushi wapendwa kutoka danana nyinyi ni majirani wa hii kanisa eh hey, asanteni sana tuwapigie makofi hao wapendwa asanteni sana nyinyi ndio mjue hii maono ilianzia mbali sana na ikakuja hapa kwa ajili yenu Mungu alijua mtakuja hapa na akawaletea kanisa kwa hivyo mjisikie mkiwa nyumbani Mungu awabariki sana kama umetutembelea mara yako ya kwanza inua kwa ishara ya mkono ni kuone haujawahi kuwa hili kanisa ndio mara yako ya kwanza umekuja kwa ishara ya mkono inua ni kuone tafadhali asante sana kuna ndugu yetu pale kuna mwingine kuna mwingine hakuna mwingine asante sana ndugu yetu uh, hili kanisa letu linaitwa Christ Compassion Ministry Church on the Hill Uh, tunampenda Mungu tunampenda Yesu tunamuhubiri Yesu na huyo ndio tunamwamini hakuna mambo mengine tunafanya hapa tumeitwa kuponya wale ambao wamevunjika mioyo kwa kuhubiri injili na ku, uh, kuwaweka tayari wale ambao wameokoka kwa ajili ya kufanya hii kazi ya huduma kwa kufikia wengine huko nje na pia kuwaponya mioyo kwa hivyo kazi yetu ni ku vile umekuja hivi tunakuandaa tunakutuma huko nje unaenda unaleta watu wanakuja tunawaandaa wanaenda hivyo hivyo kwa hivyo ni ni kama uh, ile inaitwa uh, we call it kwa Kiingereza inaitwa uh, how do we call it i want to put it in a good way nataka niweke vizuri vyema uh, tunakutumwa wale wanatumwa wanaenda wanaleta wengine wanakuja wanafanywa uh, ile inaitwa discipleship ama uh, discipleship kwa Kiswahili nini ukufunzi wafuasi wanafanywa wafa, wafuasi wafuasi nao wana, wana, wana wakishaandaliwa wamekoma wanatumwa so unaona ni ni mviringo wanatumwa wanalete wanatengenezwa wanatumwa hakuna kitu kingine hata Yesu akiita wale 12 Aliwa, aliwaita akawaandaa akawatuma na wakalete wakaandaa wakatuma ndio kwa sababu bado tunafanya hiyo kazi hiyo ndio kazi yetu tunafanya hapa amen asandeni sana jumamosi ijayo kuna family day siku ya jamii ya Christ Combustion kutakuwa na kucheza kutakuwa na kutangamana kutakuwa na na, na kushirikiana kwa hivyo kuja na watoto kuja na jamii yako yote kuanzia asubuhi mpaka jioni na tutafurahia pamoja tuta fellowship tutakuwa na ushirika na uvae nguo za sport kwa sababu kutakuwa na mbio kutakuwa na mpira kutakuwa na kuruka kamba na vitu vyote tutavifanya hata pe ile ile ilikuwa mimi nilikuwa naenda sport samson tutakuwa tunafanya hizo zote Mungu atatusaidia tulete hizo tulikuwa tunaleta banana leaves tunajaza pale alafu naenda unaruka kwa taya una sama salt. Sijui kama bado hiyo vitu iko. <laughs> Amen. Uh, alafu Jumapili itakuwa Jumapili ya uh, pa, ya Holy Communion, meza ya Bwana. Uh, nimegundua Kiingereza ni rahisi kuliko Kiswahili na Kiswahili tumezaliwa nayo. So tutakuwa na meza ya Bwana, kuja kama umejiandaa, tutakula pamoja, tuombe pamoja na Mungu atatubariki. Amen. Uh, Ijumaa usiku utakuwa na mkesha hapa uh, ya kanisa mzima uje uwe pamoja na sisi kila, kila jumanne eh, jumanne ama jumatano jumanne tuesday jumanne ni maombi ya kufunga eh, ni maombi na kufunga kwa hivyo tafadhali tuungane pamoja kwa maombi na kufunga sababu tutamalizia jioni kuanzia saa mbili mpaka saa tatu mtandaoni uh, Mama Debu anatuma kwa ile WhatsApp group ya church. Kama hauko kwa WhatsApp group ya church tafadhali unaweza niona ama uandikishane jina na mama pale.
tutakuweka pale ili pia we uone kile kinaendelea kanisani. Amen. Alafu um uh, um nisisahau Wacha nione kama wewe ume umejiunga pamoja na sisi huu mwaka kuanzia Januari mpaka leo wewe ni umejiunga pamoja na sisi tafadhali hebu nione kwa ishara ya mkono kwa hivyo baada ya ibada tunaweza onana kidogo tu baada ya ibada tuonane kidogo tu alafu uh, Mungu atawabariki ata, ata, ata sana um, kwa mgeni wetu baada ibada utaonana na mama Mama Neema ako pale. Mama Neema atakuelezea mengi kuhusu hii kanisa na pia uh, ut, kama uko na swali uh, utamuuliza na pia atataka kujua uh, uh, kuhusu ili tuendelee kuwa na ushirika uh, pamoja. Mungu akubariki sana na asante kwa kukuja kuwa pamoja na sisi. Amen. Amen. Um, ninajaribu kuangalia ndio nisiache chochote. Amen. Um, wale viongozi wale ambao walikuwa hapa ijuma uh, usi, usiku ilikuwa ijuma usiku uh, asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Uh, tulikuwa na training kuna training ya leaders na kama wewe unataka kuwa uh, kiongozi tafadhali kuna training nyingine ambayo itakuwa mwisho wa hii mwezi na uh, ile wiki ya kwanza ya mwezi wa nane. kwa hivyo umekaribishwa tuendelee kuwa pa, kufanya kazi pamoja tunapoandaliwa uh, kwa kurudi kwa Yesu Kristo tusimame kwa miguu yetu alafu um, kama hakuna lingine tujiandae kuanza wiki na neema ya Yesu na baraka zake zikuwe pamoja na sisi na tunapokutana tena kuanzia Jumanne kwa mtandao kwa maombi uh, Jumatano kuna makanisa ya nyumbani makanisa ya nyumbani a uh, tafadhali wale ambao mnatoka hapa karibu na kanisa m- hapa ndio mnakutania hiyo Jumatano mnaweza kuja mnaweza kutana siku, uh, siku moja mnaweza baki nyuma mkutane muongee muone ni, ni saa ngapi itakuwa mzuri kwenu mnaweza kuja mkuwe na ushirika wenu na mnarudi nyumbani na Mungu atawabariki wale wadanana mtengeneze ushirika wenu na walimu wadanana wako hapo wengi mjue mtakutania wapi Mungu ataendelea kuwabariki. Na wale wanatoka Jam City tafadhali msisahau wale waadhiriva kitengela na Robi tuendelee na ushirika na Mungu atatubariki. Amen. Mtuwekee neema ya Bwana yetu Yesu Kristo pale kwa Runinga. Wengine bado hatunasumbukana sana ku kumemorize. Amen. Um, kabla tuseme neema ningependa kusema hii Next Sunday ninakuomba tu utoke uambie jirani yako kwamba tuko na ibada ya pili ambayo ni ya Kiswahili na umkaribishe kanisani. Haswa wapendo ambao tunatoka hapa karibuni, hapa karibu na kanisa. Kama unapata mtu ambaye ametaka angependa kuja kanisani na maybe kuna changamoto moja ambayo mbili unaweza piga namba ya ya ambazo zinapatikana kwa ile a uh, uh, bulletin ya church ya safari kwa mama ile Airtel tutakupatia mwelekeo jinzi uh, anaweza saidika ili afike kanisani usi uh, mtu asikose kanisani kwa ajili ya sababu moja ama nyingine kuna vile tunaweza saidiana kila mtu akupatikane kanisani na msisahau kushirikiana mmoja kwa mwingine amen bwana Yesu awabariki bwana Yesu aende pamoja na nyinyi mkuwe na wiki njema hadi tukutane pamoja Amen. Asanteni sana. Kwa hivyo tuseme sala ya neema pamoja. Ah, ndugu yangu. Tunaona blue. Tunataka tuone hiyo neema ya Bwana Yesu wetu Kristo. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, twende pamoja. Neema ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na upendo wake Mungu Baba Mwenyezi na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu uwe nasi sasa na hata milele. Amina. Mungu awabariki. Muende na baraka za Yesu Kristo. Wale wapendwa wamejiunga wame pamoja na sisi uh, kuanzia mwezi wa kwanza tafadhali kujeni tu hapa mbio tukutane dakika moja alafu twende nyumbani.